everybody to another episode of Sundays with Selly. Starting to look official like an NFL whistle up in here. Thanks to Chris Bourgeois of Bourgeois Sign and Design. We are all pimped out in the back here. Things are starting to come together. It's all coming along, folks. So thank you for tuning in. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, follow us at uh, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, uh, at Navtronics. Uh, what are we talking about today? Today we are talking FLIR cameras. In particular, the M300 and the M364. I was recently down in Florida with center consoles only revisiting the Reef Runner Ray Marine install that we did for them. That boat got an M364C camera on it. It's a ridiculous camera. It's awesome. It's a dual payload, which means you've got a daytime viewable camera and a nighttime viewable camera, and it allows a mix of an overlay together to get the best of all worlds for situational awareness. That camera, it's also about 20000 give or take. It's a pricey piece of kit. That same payload, the daylight viewable payload, is available on an M3 100 series camera. That's a single payload. It is a low light, daylight viewable camera. So if there's any ambient light in the area where you're using it, whether it's a full moon or city lights or you know anything, uh, it's going to give phenomenal image quality. It's not going to give you that FLIR image quality, but it's also $14,000 less than that M364. So what do you get? With that daylight viewable camera, well, I got a little footage here. We're down in Florida. Uh, mind you that this footage, again, this is on a 23-foot boat, uh, so it's a little rocky, right? But it's still a very stable image because you are on a very small boat that's rocking and rolling. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I got it here on the iPad, so we'll pop it up over here if my editing's right. Right, uh, right over there. There we go. Now look at this as this camera goes. We're zooming in across the RV. See the water droplets that are on the screen there because it's raining out. But as we zoom in, we're going to start to see that this thing, I believe it is a, what are we, 30 times optical zoom on this? So as we over zoom, we see these water spots aren't an issue. Now you see this latency and lag in the image video. That's just because of the Wi Fi transfer of the video. The camera keeps a very clean image like this all the way along. Now again, as I said, we see the, the boat's kind of rock and rolling, so this is stabilizing that image to give us a much cleaner image. Uh, this boat's a couple hundred yards across the way in the harbor, and you can see that we can zoom right in here. As you see, I keep bringing it in. We can see the bird sweep on there. Um, and it kind of levels and stabilizes itself out in that 30 times zoom. I mean, that, this isn't their long-range camera. This is just their standard 300 or 364C camera. As you see, as we zoom you know, back out here, you get an idea of just how far away it is and the fact that we've got the water on the lens and we're still getting that incredibly sharp image right there. The other option we got is we're going to the boat ramp. We're just getting ready to pull the boat out. We've got this sign in front of us. Again, a couple hundred yards away. You can't really read it. People are getting on and off the boat, so that's why this thing's rocking and rolling a little bit. But you see, as we zoom in, we can really zoom right in on this sign and read it from far away. You know, again, with that 30 times optical zoom, that's going to give us our ability to do that. And like I said, the boat's rocking, it's rolling, people are getting on and off the boat. Um, this is a lot of camera for a boat like that. I don't necessarily think most people are going to go put a even a $6,500 camera on a 23-foot center console, but you can. This has some gyro stability stabilization built into it. It does pan, tilt, and you know all those kind of things. So you can really see, look how much that thing zooms right in on that. And because we have augmented reality, that's why we're also seeing a compass heading coming across there as well. So this thing's really awesome. You know, everybody knows FLIR. Everybody knows them as their, you know, thermal imaging cameras. Um, sometimes you hear them talk about a dual payload and it might give you that daylight, but this is really what that's bringing to the table. It's bringing the ability to have this kind of a zoom to look at things that are further away. If you're on a more stable platform, let's say you're on a, you know, a 40 foot sporty or something, that camera image is going to be just that much more stable. You want, maybe you want to you know, take a peek and see what the guy fishing a quarter mile away, what he's doing. You can go scroll right in there on your, on your uh, screen and take a look. You know, you're looking for somebody in the water. This is really great. You can pan and tilt and look around and find them. And uh, you've got that ability. If this is tied in with a Ray Marine system, like it is on the center consoles only boat, 
you can touch a spot on the screen and say, you know, salute a cue. I just want this camera to track the lighthouse or a buoy, and it will just sit there and continue to track it until it's out of range um, or an AIS target. So you've got a lot of functionality built into it. It's really cool. It's really slick. And uh, I think a lot of people just assume FLIR means it's night vision. It's not. And they also probably assume that it's, you know, $20,000, $30,000 if I want to get this camera with its view. It's not. You need it at 6500 bucks. They've got different uh, incentive programs going on throughout the year. Sometimes you can find rebates for a couple hundred bucks on it. So really slick, works with all the major manufacturers uh, across the MFD circuit. So you can do it in your control of your screen. You can do what they call a uh, JCU. So you can do a, a remote. If you don't want to be swiping on your screen, you want a little smoother control of it. You have the JCU remote functionality of it. So that's it. That is Raymarine's FLIR M300 and 364 cameras. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. As I said before, make sure to give us a subscribe and a like on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Navtronics. And uh, we're going to be putting together some stuff. I think we got a virtual boat show coming up here pretty soon. We're going to be doing a bunch of content for you. We've also got a lot of great news in the works coming into spring here. We got a lot of new stuff. You're going to want to follow. You're going to want to subscribe. we got cool stuff coming up. Trust me. The boating itch is getting strong right now if you're in New England, and it's February. It's cold. We've had a couple of warm days to tease us. We're going to be scratching that itch real soon for you guys. So be sure to stay tuned. And until next time, guys, I'm going to hang out. Peace.